Let's do it. Miracle Pressure Washing coming at you with another miracle. And y'all make sure y'all hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell for the notifications, you guys. So, yeah, man, it's 5 a.m. in the morning. We got a late night, early morning shift, you guys. Late night, early morning shift. So, I don't know. Y'all know I usually don't work this time of the night, man. But we're going to make this happen, man. So, today, we're going to be cleaning all these bumpers. All these bumpers and all the lines in the parking lot, you guys. We're going to prep it and get it ready for painting, you guys. So, the guy told me, basically, just clean up the, the um, bumpers real good and clean up the lines. And tomorrow, they're going to come and paint it. So basically, this is how I started out. I started out down screaming, and you guys can't really see it because it's nighttime. You can't really see the the um the soap. But I did downstream, you guys, new beginners, people that's beginning down screaming is running through your pressure washer. It's an injector that hooks up to your pressure washer, and you drop a dipstick down into the chemicals, you guys. So right here, I was down screaming, injecting. But I said, you know what? I'm going to just use a pump sprayer. So I pump spray all the areas on the bumpers because they was very dirty. It had a bunch of algae, a bunch of mold. They was dirty, you guys. So I pump sprayed it, and basically that's going to kill it. It's going to eat it up more with a direct hit, you know, with a, coming from a pump sprayer. So I went ahead and said, I'm going to just pump spray all the curves. I'm going to let that S8 sodium hypochlorite do the work, you guys. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm a, I basically started turbo nozzling. At first, I was using a turbo nozzle. But then I said, you know what? I really don't have to use a turbo nozzle because the SH already did the work. So um, I switched it from doing the turbo nozzle. I started rinsing it with a, a, a straight um, rinse tip, with a power rinse tip. And I just rinsed everything, you guys. Rinsed all the curves off. And you can see the lines. They brighten. They light. They clean. I cleaned them up real good on both sides, you guys. It was still nice time you guys but i cleaned them up maybe you see the paint was kind of coming off when i turbo nozzle it so that's why i started just giving it a good hard rinse so right here like i said i did the same thing i used the pump sprayer we're on the other side of the building i used the pump sprayer first i pump spray all the curves like i said it wasn't used no use to um running the downstream jet. i'm like you know what i'm just gonna hit everything with the pump spray and just come back and give it a good rinse so I hit everything right here, then I came back and I rinsed everything down real good. Like I said, you guys, I'm just prepping it, getting it cleaned up for, um, I started pressure washing. I pressure washed everything. Like I say, I prepped it and got it ready for the next crew to come in and they're going to paint it, you guys. So this is one time when I do do pressure washing. Like I say, sometimes, a lot of times I don't pressure wash. I do not pressure wash. I soft wash, I down screen. But on jobs like this, you got to use pressure. So um, I did pressure wash all the curves, all the lines, cleaned everything up, and it looked fantastic at the end, you guys. It really, really did. So um, this is a customer, basically. I did his, um, basically, I stripped his um, pool deck. Um, he's a, a president of one of the companies. He referred me to them, and then they called me, contacted me, basically say they need to get it painted. But the painter said that it needed to be cleaned before I, um before painting. So I came in and I basically cleaned everything up for them, you guys. Now they got my contact information for other properties later on in the future. We'll be doing business with them, you guys. That's what you want to do. You want to lock in with property management companies homeowners association you want to lock in with those kind of people so when you do lock in with them do quality work like basically i supposed to did the curves and the lines but you know i always got to do x you see so i i hit all the walkways i cleaned all the walkways i rinsed them real real good um and you can see on this next building i'll show y'all i even went over and beyond but that's just me you guys i like to do that kind of service because that's going to make your customers happy. That's going to make your customers keep dealing with you when they see you go over and beyond, you guys. So right here, I cleaned up that whole side. Then we did the, the parking lot um, over here. It's one, two, three, four. It was really three, four sides, you guys. So after I did that, we came over here. It's a, um, a flat parking lot, a parking lot that don't have the bumpers. I cleaned that area up real good. Um, right here, I was getting my equipment together and then moving my truck. So, um, like I say, over here on this side, um, I got my truck in position. 
on this side, we had straight lines. We didn't have any bumpers. So I just hit it with the pump spread and the same thing. Um, just pressure washed everything. I was doing the backside right there, you guys. <laughs> you see me just keep popping out back there. And I, I rinsed off the whole walkway as well in that area right there. So um, actually, I take that back. On, on the opposite side of the road where it don't have any bumpers at, I just break, basically just because it wasn't that bad. The curves were really bad. The bumpers was kind of bad. Those were what I had. I almost fell right there, y'all. <laughs> I'm talking about almost knocked me down. That pressure, and that thing kick. If y'all look back, that pressure, boy, that's that eight gallon. So yeah, I just pressure washed all these lines, you guys. I didn't um, pump spray anything because they wasn't terrible. Those bumpers were terrible, so I went ahead and used the SH on those. But right here, I just went ahead and just pressure washed everything real good. Like I say, you guys, you have to adjust to the jobs. Jobs that you have, sometimes you may not you need chemicals. Sometimes you may have to pressure wash more. Sometimes you may have to soft wash. Sometimes you may have to use a pump sprayer. You just have to adjust to whatever the job is, you guys. That's why you have to make sure you're equipped for whatever you come across. That's why you make sure you keep the right product for rust. Make sure you keep the right product for um, mold, algae. You know that SH is going to do what it do. But sometimes you may have to treat other things, you guys. You're doing papers. You may have to treat effluorescence. You might have to treat oil. You just got to keep all that kind of stuff, um, different chemicals on your truck or your trailer or whatever you're working out of, you guys. And be equipped for anything because you never know, especially if you have if you, if you didn't look at the property, you guys. So right here, you see everything clean. Those lines cleaned up. This is the next area we got right here. 9, 7, 45 a.m. Um, I had to be out of here by 830, you guys. I'm talking about I timed it right on the head, you guys. I'm talking about right on the head. So it was 745. I came over here. This side was dirty. Y'all see right there? I, I hit those on um, walk areas. You see how dirty they is? I'm gonna show y'all this miracle. So um, I basically, like I said, I timed everything pretty good. I got done right at the time of the office here ready to open, you guys. Great timing. And I said it was gonna take like three hours. Um, so right here, we did the same routine, you guys. I pump sprayed everything and then we came back and we, um, after I pump spray, we came back and we pressure washed. We did the same steps, you guys. Um, I timed, like I said, I timed this job perfectly. Soon as they got started pulling in, I was getting ready to get ready to wrap it up, you guys. And I did hit those areas up there by the, it's a um, lawyer office and another office over here that was pretty dirty. I just went ahead and cleaned those areas up for them good. Like I said, when you do extra work, man, you go over and beyond. That's when you get more jobs, man. You got to do extra. I ain't saying go all the way out of the way and spend a whole hour doing extra work, you guys. But when you see something that's going to take you two or three minutes, if that to do it, just hit it, man. Just do it. I mean, that's what's going to build your clientele. That's what's going to get you more customers. So you got to do that to y'all. Help people, man. You got to help people out here. This world is so wicked. It's so crazy, man. When you do extra stuff and you do positive, as long as you don't damage nothing, when you make sure you're in the um, process of doing that extra work, whatever it is, you got to be extra careful because if you damage something and they didn't tell you to do it, you know you're going to be in trouble then because they're going to say, well, you didn't even supposed to be doing that area or whatever. So make sure you be extra careful just trying to um, do extra things. Just be careful with it, you guys. So like I say, I like to go over and beyond and then that always impresses the customer. That's how I get five star reviews. They always say, Mr. Gordon, he went over and beyond. He did that's what I like, man. Like I say, I do every job to please my customers. This all is about with me, you guys. Pleasing my customers, taking care of my customers, getting five-star rating, and keeping my name right, you guys. And that's how you get referrals. That's how you get more jobs. You have to do quality work, y'all. And that's all I focus on over here, quality work. I don't know nothing else, you guys. Like right here, I really didn't even supposed to rinse everything. He said, just hit the lines and the bumpers. But y'all know me, I can't just do that. So right here, you see I pumped red. I hit that area that was real dirty. 
I, I, I hit it with the SH. I let the SH do what it's supposed to do, do its job. It came back in like five minutes. By the time I went all the way down, it was ready. I came back and I pressure washed everything and it came out nice and clean, you guys. When I got done, I sent the before and after pictures to the um the guy that get, got me the job and he sent them to the customers and he said, man, thank you, Mr. Gordon, you hit the, you know, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about, man. We want to make these, when people come to this office, we want it to look nice, man. We don't want it looking, the parking driveway look good. You see cars was coming in, it was time. It was about, I was almost there, you guys, I had like 10 minutes. But we don't want the parking lot to look good, but then the walkways looking dirty with algae, with mold and, Dirt wind wanted it to look like that, so I just went ahead and just hit the areas that was terrible. And then on the other side, I went ahead and just rinsed everything off, you guys. But this property came out nice. They're going to paint it. I'm quite sure when they do the um, parking area, it's going to be nice. But yeah, man, that's what I say, man. Just take care of your customers, you guys. So this it, man. It's the I, the last job I got, you guys, for before I do this Florida Classic. I got the Florida Classic going on this weekend from Friday to Sunday. I think they got a bunch of events going on Friday. Saturday is the main um, Florida Classic, the football game. And then Sunday, I think they do like some car shows and some other things going on. But yeah, I got an area. We're going to have vendors at the um, property that I'm going to be at. We're going to have vendors. They're going to have food, music, and all that kind of stuff. And I'll be at the same location for three days, you guys. Y'all come out, man. And um, support your boy Miracle Pressure Washing. Y'all know what I do. I'm going to be out there getting them Rick, getting them, them BMWs, Mercedes, whatever y'all got. Come clean, come get them cleaned up, man. Class of weekend, man. Come get your, your whip detailed up. I got you, man. So, like I said, I'll be in Orlando John Young Parkway right there by that, the big bus terminal. Um, We'll be right there, man, you guys. So, right here, the property cleaned up pretty good. The customers was happy. They didn't have an issue with payment. Everything went well, and the property came out nice, man. Hey, I appreciate you guys. All the love, all the support, all my new subscribers. I really do appreciate y'all. Man, y'all hit that like and subscribe if you haven't. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel, you guys. I'm going to keep dropping this good content. We're going to put God first over everything, man. We're going to stay positive over here, and that's all we know, you guys. And this was all done. Look at up there. Remember how dirty that was? Look at the before. Y'all seen that? This the after. Big difference, you guys. Big difference. All the way over there, all those lines, they cleaned up on the other side. The bumpers curved, and I beat that time, you guys. I'm talking about right on time. Everything done. I'm ready. Let's go. Y'all see the before? Look at that. And I look at it. Look at the before. Look. Ugh. And look at it. Look. That's ugly. Ugly. And this is how we make it look, man. Miracle pressure washer. We don't play. We do miracles. That's all we know. We do miracles on this end, man. Hey, man, y'all like and subscribe. I love y'all, man. It's 830 and we got out of here. You want to add an email in there? Um, add a name. Add an email address? Oh, um, Miracle Pressure Washing Services all together at gmail.com. And this is my spot where I'm going to be, you guys. All this area over here, this is what we're going to be. This is a spot for the weekend, man. Y'all pull up and get cleaned up, man. Y'all already know. Miracle pressure washing. We checking out, man. Y'all stay up. God bless y'all. Put God over everything. And let's do it. We out.